All right. Where should we hang this lantern? How about here? <laughs> no, Daddy. Higher. Hang it higher. <laughs> the height is important. More cookies can see the lantern. But it's also important to make your feelings come through. Feelings? What feelings? For example, your wishes for other cookies' happiness. The first cookie to hang a lantern onto this tree used to say that. Do you want to hear the story? <gasps> yes, yes, tell me! Far, far away to the north. Amidst the tall, frigid mountains, where snow falls all year round, was a little... In this village lived two little cookie friends. Cotton Cookie! Going to see Sherbert Cookie again? I'm carrying these supplies for him. He's... he's been feeling even colder. Oh, dear. This sickness is getting worse by the day. Sweet skies. What did this young soul do to deserve such a cruel disease? Sherbert Cookie will be all right. I must go before the snow gets worse. Be careful on the road, my dear. Sherbert Cookie! you a warm cotton blanket and some snow mushroom stew. Cotton cookie? Thanks. How was your day? Did the sheep give you much trouble? <sighs> Don't even get me started on that. You know how their wool can grow so fluffy that they can't even move if you don't shear them in time? They looked just like one enormous sheep. I almost drowned in all that wool today. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like too much trouble. Those little stubborn sheep of yours. <sighs> it was. I barely had a chance to catch my breath today. But how are you feeling? Still feeling cold? Yeah. And I can't hide it anymore. When I touch a glass, it gets covered with frost. Maybe it's time the Frost Witch came for me. You've heard the stories about cookies taken away by the Frost Witch, haven't you? Don't say that. Those are just scary tales for kids. Nobody's gonna take you away. And even if this witch comes, I'll be here. I'll protect you. See this staff? I will stop anyone. That crook of yours? <laughs> it does look pretty strong. But at times I feel strange. The colder I feel, the stronger the snow. I keep hearing someone's voice calling me from far, far away. But when I close my eyes and follow this voice, every time it's only endless snow as far as I can see. What if... What if it's the Frost Witch calling me? No, please don't think about the witch. I'm sure you're just tired of staying at home. You know what? When you feel better, we will go wherever you want. Together. I promise. Imagine all the places you ever dreamed about. Endless seas of sand, tall ridges of waves, ever-burning lakes of fire! Someday. You're such a good friend, Cotton Cookie. Thank you. The voice, it keeps calling me. I can't wait any longer. I must. Sherbert Cookie! It's me! Today I... <gasps> Sherbert Cookie!
Sherbert Cookie! Oh, oh no! Sherbert Cookie! Where did you go? The snow is too strong. I can't see a thing. There! I see a figure! Sherbert Cookie! Foolish child, why are you roaming this snowy barren all alone? You... are you the Frost Witch? Is this really the question you wish to ask, Cookie with the Lantern? Oh, Sherbert Cookie! Sherbert Cookie, are you alright? What did you do to my friend? Not a thing. It is merely the time for this child's life to become one with snow once more. Where are you? It was you who cursed him and took him away from me! Why did you do it? You can't take his life! Bring him back! His life interests me not, but the order of things must be upheld. Yes, I shall grant you a glimpse of the truth. That what you call a curse so foolishly, you shall see it with your very own eyes. You are standing in the presence of the greater will that weaves the fabric of this world. Tell me, what brings you cookies to life? The answer is simple. Powder imbued with pure life. Substance that animated many creatures throughout this land. But who could have known? Who could have known that this very energy is, in fact, what fuels this world, allowing it to exist? To keep the mechanism of this world in perfect equilibrium, a complex of fundamental principles was created by nature itself. Guardians were chosen to ensure that this order is maintained. I am one of these guardians. I am to make sure that Frost Children, fated to become one with nature, Reach the source. That is my task. Frost, children? An alluring voice calls them, beckons them into the snow, growing ever clearer as the warmth of life fades. It is neither a curse nor a disease, like a seed meant to become a tree. 
Like a fire burning forests to ashes, yet enabling new life to see the sunlight. Here, in my frozen domain, the Frost Children find their final peace, dissipated into a myriad of ice crystals, becoming one with nature again. It is a blessing to allow new life to bloom. I don't believe you. Sherbert Cookie doesn't want any of this. This is the way nature is. Therefore, it is this child's natural desire, his will. Do you understand? The principle of nature cannot be broken. Whether you understand it or not is irrelevant. The world's mechanism will continue revolving. There must be something I can do. Anything. I will do anything to rescue him. Cookie, you are asking for a way to rescue water running in a river. Only one Frost Child was able to preserve the cookie form. Perhaps. There is a way to stop the flowing water. For some time. What is it? Please, tell me what to do! Atop a towering cliff grows the wind flower, feeding on the warm rays of the sun above. This wind flower can bring the warmth back. For a while. But the blizzard is raging outside. The search will be an impossible task. Wandering among the frozen ridges, you may risk your last chance to see the very cookie you cherish. Will you- I will. I will find the Windflower no matter what! The mountain is as tall as the sky! Oh, I can barely feel my fingers. But I have to hurry. For Sherbert Cookie. I can save him! Oh, ah, oh. It hurts! My hand! Huh? Cotton Cookie, are you hurt? Did the flock give you a hard time again? Wait here, let me get some bandages and flour. Please be careful. I can be sick for both of us. So please, stay well. Sherbert Cookie, it's nothing. It's just a tiny crack. That much I can handle. Sherbert Cookie, what's on your mind? What's going on in your head? Do you really want things to end this way? I never thought we'd part ways. Like this. Oh no. The cliffs collapsed here. And the wind blower. He's on the other side. Will I reach it if I jump? I will. No, I must. Anything for a couple more minutes with Sherbert Cookie. I can do it. When I think about it, I realize that all this snow was inside my heart from the very beginning. The blindingly white snow, reaching as far as one can see, slowly filled me from within. These fields of snow, so white one wouldn't dare to tarnish it. I often imagined becoming a tiny snowflake, one of the billions making this ocean of snow. But then, another color emerged amidst the pristine dunes. That was... I did not expect you to succeed, Cookie. Enjoy this brief moment of success. It should be enough for a farewell. Sherbert Cookie. Cotton Cookie. I... I followed the voice. And you came all this way. For me. Forgive me. I left without saying goodbye. No. No, it's all right. I told you I'd always stay by your side. Please, Sherbert Cookie, don't go. Don't worry, Cotton Cookie. I'm not going to disappear. 
Not anymore. I'm only following my dream. Like a snowflake drifting across endless tundra. But I want you to know. I'm not sure since when. But amidst the bleak, dreary, snowy plains that haunted my thoughts, I started to see you. The warm yellow light of your lantern. It was there too. No matter where I went. The dim light was there. Then I understood. That light was for me. It lit my path so that I don't get lost. And it felt warm and comforting. I didn't feel lonely. Neither did I, Sherbert Cookie. Because I had you. Now I must go. It's time for us to part ways. Cotton Cookie. Just like I remembered you when I saw the light of your lantern. Think about me when snowflakes fall down from the sky. I will be there. No, Sugar Cookie. How can I let you go? Thank you. For everything you did for me. power to find a way to treat this disease I know if anyone can do it it's you and I'll do anything I can to assist you I feel colder and the voice it beckons me frost cookie are you all right something out there in those vast snowy plains holds the answer and I'm going to find it. Are you sure you want to go there? It's dangerous, and I can't allow you to go alone. Now I understand. I... No! Frost Cookie! Don't fade away! <sighs> yes. That is how it was. Memories of the past long gone. <sighs> Sherbert Cookie? He is no longer the cookie you used to know. A droplet of warmth has kept the fading soul together and created a new being. E that means Sherbert Cookie is back. That he will stay. No. Just like myself, he has become a nature's herald. Soon. He will discover the mission imposed upon him. Regardless, he will never return to his former life. I... feel strange. As though covered with endless snow. Cold, yet warm. At long last, I feel alive. I... I can go anywhere. Look! Look at this cotton cookie! I can fly! <laughs> you look so free, Sherbert Cookie. Now I understand. You found 
your true self. Endless seas of sand, tall ridges of waves, and ever-burning lakes of fire. Now I can fly anywhere. I have to go there. Cotton Cookie, you should come along. Thanks, Sherpa Cookie. Now I understand everything. All our time together. It led us here. And here is where we say goodbye. I will stay here and protect everything we held dear. And you travel far and wide. And when you come back, tell me what you saw. For me, it will be enough. Cotton Cookie, your light always lit my path. No matter where I go, I will always keep this light in my heart. I will make sure not to lose my way out there in the wide world, like I did before. When a desperate ray of light met a heart yearning for freedom, you were reborn. You have shaken off the shackles of frail dough. Even winter's chill has no power over you. Go anywhere and everywhere you wish. And so, the newborn spirit's adventure began. And the girl returned to the village. She hanged a bright lantern on the village's tallest tree to guide her friend when he comes back. And the warm light shines bright till this day. Time passed, and more villages started hanging their lanterns for their dear ones during the coldest days of the year. That's why I told you to hang it higher, Daddy! Because I love our family so much! <laughs> so do I, kid. Hey, it's almost time to make the wishes. Let's hurry. Right, right, let's run! You have to make your wish on the hill from where the tall cliff can be seen. Cotton Cookie, it's great to see you here. It's Granny Cotton Cookie. Do you know the lantern story, too? <laughs> oh, of course. It is my favorite story. Now, go make your wish, or all of the good spots will be taken. <gasps> oh, no! Hurry up, Dad! <sighs> it's snowing tonight. Soft, warm snow. I hope you are happy out there, dancing among the snowflakes. Stay safe in your travels. <laughs> uh -huh.